Hey, this is Steve with HP Tuners. Today we're going to walk you through how to do a vehicle anti-theft delete, otherwise known as a VATS delete. Anytime you take the powertrain out of one vehicle and put it into another vehicle, you have to disable the VATS to make the car run. All right, now that we have VCM Editor open, we're going to go in here and do a quick read. That should take five to seven minutes, and then we're going to save that file as found. Now that we have the file read out, we're going to go to the System tab and go to Security, where it says VATS Control. I'm going to select None, and then save the file as VATS Off. Now that we have that file saved, we're going to head and do a right and tire to the vehicle. Once this is completed, it'll take about seven minutes, but the vehicle anti-theft system will be completely deleted. It's pretty common to do a vehicle anti-theft delete if you're going to take the powertrain out of this vehicle and put it into another vehicle. Um, very common on LS swaps and, and other things like that of that nature. Um, with the security enabled in the ECU, you put this powertrain into another vehicle, it's not going to run. You have to delete the vehicle anti-theft system out of the ECU for the vehicle to start and run. And that's how you perform a vehicle anti-theft delete. I hope you found this video informative, and we can't wait to see you on the next one.